the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. Our Memphis Tigers. Our Memphis Tigers. New head coach Ryan Silverfield, who had the interim tag taken off his name in about five days. Like, that took no time. It's pretty impressive. Nice uh, national search they did there, <laughs> uh, which I don't have a problem with. Hey, he's got the support of the players, former players, everybody else, and he's recruiting like gangbusters, so whatever. Um, it's 11 a.m. on ESPN in Dallas, Texas. I put Dallas, California on here for whatever reason. Either way, James Franklin, Penn State, they are 10-2 and two this season, uh, only 6-6 six and six against the spread. You have to wonder if maybe motivation will be an issue here because Penn State was this close to going to the Rose Bowl. And now they're in the Cotton Bowl against a group of five team. Now Memphis, like their players are fired up for this. Yes. Absolutely. Like they cannot wait. This is everything they have wanted. They're getting to play a traditional power. They're getting to play a team with a ton of tradition. And they want to stamp their name in there and and go 13 and 1 and all that, right? My issue here is that without their offensive play caller and without their defensive play caller, I think that Memphis is going to have a tough time matching up against Penn State's talent. Now, I want to pick Memphis. And do it. And I understand that, you know, Penn State's offensive coordinator, Ricky Ronnie, is also gone. He is the new Old Dominion head coach. But the line is seven. Because that offense was so good. The uh, the opening line was... I want to hire that guy. Penn State minus eight and a half. The current line is minus seven. The total was 61 and a half. It is sitting currently at 60 and a half. I am going Penn State minus seven. I am going under 60 and a half here. I'm going to take the Tigers. Memphis plus seven. I, Boy, I hope that. I, I really and, do. And, and, and I'm, and I'm going to go... I'm going to go over because I think Memphis is going to give up points. Yeah. Penn State is not a sustainable offense. They, now, there is a massive talent gap, talked about in some of these other bowl games, between Memphis and Penn State. Massive talent gap. Yeah. But Penn State's offense is three and out, three and out, three and out. Touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown, three and out, three and out. They don't go on drives ever. Now that's ever. true. They're not going to be long, sustainable drives. If Memphis can control the line of scrimmage, well, and tough if, to do. If they if if Penn State keeps giving them the football and giving them opportunities, That's right? Oh, the, Memphis is going to score a lot. Yeah, the playmakers you will, keep uh, will giving, have a chance. You keep punting to them. A, you keep punting to them. There's a chance the Tigers' offense won't get on the field very often either. Yeah, they they just they're explosive. They have weapons. They got a puncher's chance to win this football game. Motivation's a thing. They want to be there. I guess Franklin. Kind of would probably. I mean, he's a tough coach, and he's good at getting his guys up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm it's, going it's, with the Tigers. Give me the head start. I'm with you. Okay. Like I, I, I'm, I'm Penn State minus seven, and I'm going under. You're going over, and taking Memphis. Yep. So, I, I can understand where you're coming from. 